What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, chosen of various ages? We are the YesMR Revengers, and uh, I'm Matt Both. You can find me at Meryl Productions on your instant internet applications. You can also catch me on Twitter at Meryl Product One as well with my lovely wife. Who are you? Where can I find you? I thought you were gonna go the other way with that. <laughs> I am Ann Weezy. You can only find me on Instagram A N W Triple E Z Triple Y. Bang! Got it. Pa, pa, pa. So we are talking about Snitch of the Week. Snitch of the Week. Snitch, Snitch of, of the, the Century. Six Nine Takashi. Takashi Six so Nine. Why? Because we're married and we oh. finished those sentences. It's yeah. love, people. Um, so he may not go to jail. He. I have to say. How come he is not going to stay in jail, but Meek Mill got in trouble for riding dirt bikes? You know, he popped the wheelie and did like, he was in there for a couple of years, you know, like a year maybe? He was in there for a year and a half? Yeah. Anyway, Ooh. sorry, back to Takashi 6 9 Yes, he may walk free. He, for those of you who don't know the situation, he is currently facing up to 40, minimum of 47 years minimum. in prison. Minimum. Um, which, for racketeering, acts of violence, you know, what was it? Uh, guns charges, just a ton of like narcotics. Narcotics, yeah, just a slew of different charges. And so he is currently singing like a fucking canary. He has names. I like that. Did yeah. you get that from somewhere? Or is that all you? No, it's, it's a common expression. Good. I okay. Good. Um. Anyways, so he has snitched on Jim Jones, Cardi B, Casanova, um, as well as a lot of Nine Trade Blood members. Yes. Like, um. Or Harv, I think Hardy, it was. Yeah, Harv. Um, um, Shoddy, obviously, was a while back, but he, he's he's mm-hmm. been he's been. And so uh, TMZ did a quick recap. We're gonna we're gonna play this, just kind of get you caught up to speed. Disclaimer: she I hates do TMZ. not like TMZ. I think that they show African Americans in a very um, poor light always. So that's just me. But wow, this is a big deal, man. This uh, is a we look at this. I don't know that the government has done him any favors here. He's a young dude. Um, because well, he hasn't done any favors. Because if you have to be in in, yes. in prison for forty seven years minimum, or not be in prison, okay, you try and maybe deal. they've done him a favor there. But you're not lawyer, doing him a favor so. by telling everyone in court documents exactly what he is going to be testifying they, they to very and fair. who yes. he's testifying he against. A on his head. And when I say testifying, I mean snitching. Snitching <laughs> and full on, full on snitching about the people who robbed him, kidnapped him. I even tried to raise this weird hair white dude. Snitching. <laughs> prosecutors, he got conversations. <laughs> he is going to like... name names of nine right, grand blood members. Are you snitching uh, in there? Are you on the tweeters? He had worked with some who turned on him, he says, some who were involved in his kidnapping and robbery. Um, Imagine all the stuff he had to go through. I mean, one of the dudes was sleeping with his baby mom. Sent to the judge, and we got a copy of the document. But he always seemed like a happy kid. He never seemed like he was. He always talked about a tragedy. He always seemed happy. And we talked about this before that you know when you snitch in circumstances like this, you got to get you got to get in the witness protection program. You have a lot to worry about forever for your entire life. Right. I mean, so therefore, the documents though that they're letting everybody know exactly what he's snitching on. Right. Is I'm um, honestly no surprise because that's what he agreed on. He wants to be a super snitch. Right. Everyone, everyone knows that was the plea super deal he made. Snitch. That's why he pled guilty. Like and Captain Planet of snitches, time. Captain but America again, of snitches. Harley, what I'm saying you is, if you're going to put someone in go witness protection, at what point do you start protecting the witness? Because this doesn't feel like protecting they're the witness. Pro- but by, it's not, by telling no, 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 they're protecting him because he has nothing. No, no, no. I know what you're saying. That why, why put it in writing? He's going to testify to this in a week or so. So it's not like this never would come out. This is what he's going to say. What they're trying to do is tell the judge, here's the, here's the, the, the battle they, plan. They're giving the layout. But, yeah, but, but it's going to come out in a week anyway, line and verse on the stand. So what's the I, difference? I get, I get it because... The real issue is when he gets out no, of prison. But, but that, it's going to be... No, that Harvey, it's being in prison, in out of prison. Public, no matter what, he's going to have problems for the rest of his life yeah, because he's open a super right. It's open and season. And that's exactly no what, what he, he does, wants to do. My point is the difference being... If you if he testifies in court and he says all this stuff and then you put him into witness protection right after that, now you've actually protected him. But now, before he actually testifies, we know what he's going to testify because this letter was was in a public filing. So that's my point. I just hope people around him, like his baby moms, his baby, his mama, like I hope they are all safe. They're not. I mean, here's the reality. So we talked about this earlier. Mm-hmm. What he did was he named names of rappers who generally have a, a, a somewhat of a 
kind of criminal past. I mean, Casanova came up as a gangster. Yeah. Jim Jones came up when as a gangster. When he said that, I was like, oh, fuck, you gonna die? <laughs> yeah, Jim Jones is not to be played with. And he, they actually had Jim Jones on audio from a, a wiretap to mm-hmm. the prison phone saying you gotta violate him. I mean, the implications are just naming people that have big circles and big people around them. I mean, you gotta figure Cardi, Casanova, and Jim have their own sets. Absolutely. You know, they so... They have their own people who... Who know people who know people. And people just generally don't like snitches. I mean, even in grade school, when somebody, they call it tattletelling. Like, like you know. Yeah, I mean, it, our, it's, our it's, kids don't. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's not generally looked upon as a good thing. I don't know how I feel because, like Harvey said, he said, you know, you're facing 47 years in prison. Like, what do you do? And we've talked about this to a great extent now is he, and she even said it, you're going to die in prison or you're going to die out of prison. Yeah. And unless they do put him in witness protection and get rid of all his tattoos, very And he had like, do something with his nose. He's very identifiable. Even with Adam, I think he'd still he know is. who he Oh, was. absolutely. We got to dye his hair. We got to cut it short. We got to remove yeah, everything. Like, facial reconstruct the surgery. Um, One question I asked you earlier is, uh, do you think he had any money? you think he's got yes. any money anywhere? Yes, I do. do. You think he was smart enough for that? Because I do think he's intelligent. I do think that he put money somewhere. Okay. Or And I, I'm hoping that he did. Can he ever come back to hip hop? No. Yeah. And and maybe you also said this is that maybe when he turns like fifty, maybe he can write like a memoir or like you know an autobiography. <laughs> we watched a couple minutes ago the, the video, the footage of him getting robbed, and because it, it was a situation. Mm-hmm. So so just to back up a little bit, his rise to fame was insane. I mean, he was a kid. Quick. He came from dirt. He was poor. He was living, mm-hmm. you know, living on the floor, uh, old clothes, pissy clothes. Couldn't even afford to get them washed at times. And he found a way. He he was a meme to begin with. Did you know yes, that? Yes, I did. So he started as a meme, and, and he broke into music, and he, he breaks out when he has mm-hmm. his hit. I can't remember what his first hit was, but um, then he has legal trouble from the outset because he has some underage girl that he slept with, and he actually you know had to deal with that. And then he gets with these gang members, and he becomes a, a, a superstar. Yeah, like overnight. Literally, too. like it seemed like it happened within three months. It seemed like he was a star. And then you have people who like Fifty Cent, who gave him a huge ass chain, like mm-hmm. who kind of like took him under his wing. A lot of cosigns. Mm-hmm. I mean, even the thing it was closer to the end, but the Fifi Nicki Minaj joint. Love that joint. You know, it's just he had a lot of big cosigns, and I personally from Jump Street, I don't know if you remember, but I was like, no, the the whole thing felt off to me because he just didn't look the part to me. He not even just looked the part, but like he just wasn't. I don't think it wasn't his authentic self. So well, that's what I meant by I said look the part. Oh, okay. Like he didn't feel like So his his authenticity just wasn't there and I think that's something that young people need to realize it, especially if they want, you know, a career in hip hop or even just any career if if you aren't authentic, it will be known. Right. Like it may not at first, but it will be at some point or if you, you know, again, he he likes to pop off at people and he made most of his career from popping off on people. Right. You pop off on the wrong one and that's it. Well, and the thing is, um, you know, he had all that, uh, all these gang members to provide him security so he could continue to be the troll he was. I think he would have went so much further by not taking the gangster angle on it, by like being outrageous about things yeah, that, like, like, like Donald or, Trump, or be like the, be like the the rapper version of Lady Gaga, like wear the yeah. suits and shit. Just act crazy because you like acting crazy anyway, but doing it in the gangster fashion. Unfortunately, that's what the kids pay attention to because the kids loved him. I mean, he oh, was absolutely. like. A big uh, role model. Because he's a fucking kid. <laughs> right. But, I mean, people looked up to him because he had the rainbow hair and rainbow teeth. And he, he was just different. Holding, yeah. Right. And he wasn't your typical, like, and he had the screamo rap, which was different as well. Could, and he could have went far with that. But, like yeah. you said, he just, again, he didn't, he doesn't know better because he is so young. And, unfortunately, he made a lot of detrimental mistakes that are going to follow him for his entire life. And well, you know one of the things that bugs me? I'm sorry, go on. No, that's, no, you're fine. One of the things that bugs me, too, is, like, grown man eating off a kid. Like, like, and this is kind of how I feel sometimes about, like, the kid YouTube stars. Like, it's nothing wrong with it, okay? I'm not knocking anyone, but I'm not eating off a child. I'm not going to make my bread off of a child. Like, that makes me feel, and it could just be me, but it makes me feel like less of a man. Like, oh, I got I to gotta be by his side and do what he says because he gets the money. Like, th- that to me just feels wrong. If I was one of these OGs in that gang, I couldn't have been okay with that. Like, hmm. We're taking money from this kid. That's just that's just weird to me. So but they do though, man, and that's why I'm not a part of it. <laughs> that's why I'm not. Yeah, and I'm, like, and, and wow, I'm not like, a nine blood. Now I'm like that sounds pretty normal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I could I couldn't be a part of that. But yeah, no, like I said, I think that if he had better people around him and he 
took a different angle and he wasn't trying to gangbang and, and you know do some crazy shit or you know have enforcers or you know just and just be as flashy as his, he is i'm not and this kind of goes back to the whole like you walk around with these big ass chains and you say how much they are and how much you got right. on you like it doesn't make it okay but you are inviting people yeah. To rob the shit out of you. Well, and, and, and Takashi was known to tell people to suck his D. Like, that He's, was his, oh, that was his go-to it. line about everything. And I'm thinking, I don't think at one point, you can't put that much negative energy into anything and expect to never have to deal with that. Well, and again, but it, it just goes back to he's 23. He doesn't think about the long-term thing. And is that okay? No. Does that well, excuse what he did? No. If it is good. No, but if he had better people around him, he, yeah. they could say, yo, stop that shit. Well, like, he wouldn't got up with a gang, so yeah, I don't know. Like, fuck up when you need to, but right. you don't need to do it at everybody. Well, and the thing is, too, he came from nothing. So I think when you come from nothing, I think a lot of people that come up from absolutely nothing, you think of Nicki Minaj, how crazy she's been, you think of Kanye West, how even Eminem, when he went through, I think when you come from nothing, you have this attitude like, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want because I've never had anything anyway. Well, and, you know? yeah, well, and you, you realize that, like, nothing is fucking promised. Right. And, like, you won't live your life. And I, I commend that, and I really, I think that is kind of an amazing way to live. But if you're living like this, huh? not when you're living like this, but like if you're carefree, and he seemed to be always carefree. He, I mean, every, he was always smiling, man. He never seemed like he had a bad day, and he had to have had a lot of bad days all of a sudden. I'm sure, happy. but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I would, I wouldn't, if I was in his position, I don't know that I wouldn't do the same. No, I would snitch. I mean, I'm on camera saying, I guess it is what it is, but that's why I don't live that life because. Oh, you, I don't if yeah, your no. choice is to go to jail and die, or die on the streets, or, or take your chances on the streets, I mean, cause they yeah, may yeah, put him, could. they may put him somewhere in Kansas in a nice, you know, nice right, big farm where he's right, right, right. Oh, somewhere. yeah. Well, I don't know. I think with his picture, you got to stay in the country, but I don't know. But even even, even really? so, I'm not sure. It's a guess. I would I would think that'd be easier to protect you overseas, but well, then it becomes that other country's kind of issue. You know I'd be okay mean? with that. Go to Japan. Well, but they might not be. So. He could but, be like uh, a cartoon character there. He could do voiceovers. I don't know. I just hope that he finds a way to live. I hope, like you said, I hope his family, I hope his little girl stays safe. You know, and, and that's the thing is because people don't care. People. And I, well, speaking of that, I just saw a story, a uh, quick sidebar, about a uh, rival gang in Chicago. They lured this nine-year-old into like an uh, alley and shot him in the head. Why? Because they had beef with his dad in a rival gang. The two rival gangs have been warring for the last two years. But... Th- that's to your point. They don't care. No, there's don't no, care. there's no codes, no rules. Kids ain't safe. No. I mean, it wasn't time. Or kids and women were, but that right, you been don't. Long gone. Yeah, I mean, they they touch your family if you. So, um, best yeah. prayers up for six nine and just the whole situation. Uh, before we jump off of this, you got something? Go yeah, I was gonna say, how do you think this is gonna um, affect everyone who was named? Do you yeah. think there's gonna be an investigation? Do you think that? They're just going to be a little more tightly watched. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an investigation. I think uh, they think they will be approached about their involvement. I think that's just them doing their due diligence. Well, Um, well, and then I think, you know, with some of these, and although Takashi did snitch, like, I don't think that it would... doesn't blow anybody's mind when those names come up. To, yeah, like Jim Jones. Uh, and a lot of things, and see, these people kind of incriminate themselves by wearing all red. If I, was, you know, if I was associated with a gang, I might have, like, a pocket square that was red. Or, you know, maybe you hang the bandana well, out your back pocket. Like, that's, there, you know what I mean? I don't want to start naming names because I don't want to do that. But then you say, you know, there is a line in the song that says, you know, I'm a blood, but I can find me we're blue. Like, you were, you were incriminating yourself. Well, and the, and the thing is, is like, you don't have to, if you have 50 dudes in your video all in red, you know, I, I wouldn't be as, but I'm not a flashy person anyway, no. so I wouldn't be as, is flamboyant about it. Um, but I do think there's going to be, I, I think, like, for somebody like Jim Jones, who's had a longer past in the streets, and he has more of a history, and they caught him on that wiretap calling into the prison yeah. saying, that, or somebody in the prison called him, but they said, yeah, you got to violate home, whatever, whatever, like, yeah, you can. That's, that's very incriminating, so. Yeah, so. It's going to be problematic, and it's just going to create a lot of enemies for him. I hope he gets so, out alive. I'm very interested to see how this is going to play out, and, I mean, we'll know shortly if he's going to, be out or not. So when he gets out, does he just disappear at the face of the earth? Like, I, I just, so, I'm I, so interested to see where he, like, does he just disappear? So my thing is, is like, are we actually going to know that he's disappeared? Are we, are they going to announce that he's free? And my thing is, with the level of social media in this country. Can he? Right, because imagine, like, he, let's, let's say he moved in next door. 
I'm not go. I, I would be like, hey, you can come. I might ask, but I'm not gonna like put him on. But could you imagine some kid, thirteen years old, going? I think the guy she lives next door. Oh yeah, no, I mean. And like, then we gotta move. Like, <laughs> right, right. Shit. Gonna be busting exactly. Wrong house. Can you imagine? Cool. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. I don't know how that works. I don't know if it's just something. Like, he's gotta go to a farm place. He's gotta be like big open fields. And so he can't be in a. A city. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm thinking like... He's got to go like Arkansas. You know? And nobody there. It's, that's my point. Like, it has they to be a place... to move there. Right, yeah. Oh, seriously, <laughs> though. <laughs> so, yeah. But let us know what you think about the whole Takashi 6 9 situation in the comments below. Would you snitch? Or do you have the heart to take on prison and see what happens? Um, yeah. what, do you, what do you think happens to the artists that were named? And what's their retaliation? I don't know if there, there can be much retaliation because now eyes are on them. Oh, maybe not, like, soon, but, like, you wait a few years to find out where he's at. I mean, that's how the mob did it a lot back in the day. They let you go thinking they, you're cool, and then right, they pop no, up on you. Sure. I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to affect. I'm not, I'm not, I think it all really depends if he stays in jail or not. No, nah, I think he'll be out. I think you mentioned that, too. There's I do no, think he'll be out. I, but they're yeah. saying that what he, the time he served counts. And so they're thinking that, and I don't know the logistics of it. I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know all yeah. of that. I'm not. Oh. I am just a physician, but, right. um, <laughs> but uh, he could potentially be out and roaming the streets very soon after this testimony is over. Let us know what you in the comments below. We are the ESMR Revengers. Hit that like button if you've been rocking with us the whole time, and subscribe to the page. We'll see you next video. Bye.